Hey guys, I just wanted to talk just a minute about uh, the whole uh, Michael Cole thing that's been in the in the news for the last well two days. Talking about Michael Cole has been uh, kind of vilified uh, for putting down talent, and that's why the they're they're placing that blame on him. That's why the 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 Raw Super Show last week the main event drew such bad numbers. Uh, saying that Michael Cole has, has put those guys down for so long that it's hurt the product. Uh, no. It's because nobody cares about a six-man tag match, for one. Uh, for two, the build-up to that wasn't good on Raw. It was a feel-good moment at the beginning of Raw. But that's all it was. You have to be very careful about building off of a feel-good moment because if you're not, uh, well, you know what happens. Because it just happened. Uh, I personally have no problem with the way Michael Cole has been doing commentary because he's not doing anything different than Bobby Heenan used to do back in the day. I mean, he's he's going a little bit farther, but he has to. In today's world of professional wrestling, you have to go farther. Everything has to go farther because you can't, you know, you can't do, you know, nineteen early nineteen nineties uh, commentary and get over. I mean, you have to go farther. Now, I think commentary would be a little bit better if I don't know you would actually call the match instead of just sitting out there and talking for two hours. Uh, but then again, I, I've always had that beef with commentary is that nobody nobody does enough on commentary to put over a match. Uh, your problem is you've got two guys, Jerry Lawler, Michael Cole. Occasionally you have a third guy. When you have Jim Ross, three-man commentary, it's even better. See, your problem is you're, you're, the way you're doing commentary is you're putting over too much the back and forth between the commentators instead of putting over what's going on in the ring. And it's hurting the overall product. So my advice is not to have Michael Cole, I mean, not to have Michael Cole do anything different than what he's doing as far as he hates Daniel Bryan, he hates Zack Ryder because they didn't do it the WWE way. But have Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler stop bickering all the time. Have Michael Cole not even mention Jim Ross. There's no need for it. Jim Ross is not there. They, they don't need to build a storyline with him and Jim Ross anymore. So why even bring it up? Alright, I have no problem with Michael Cole riding the guys. I mean, it, it's no different than what Bobby Heenan used to do time in and time out against Hulk Hogan. He hated Hulk Hogan. It's just, I mean, it's just logic. It makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. Just think about it before you screw yourselves even further. Remember, you're running a wrestling company. I mean, it's entertainment, but there is still wrestling going on. That's all I'm saying. Get back to focusing on the wrestling. It will all fall back into place. And remember, WrestleMania is coming up. No matter who has the titles, you're going to get bigger ratings as long as you have good storylines going into WrestleMania. Think about it. Think about it.